and the things that they're asking you to do because you haven't seen some of these transactions before. You haven't seen some of these screens before. So let me just walk you through these real quick. Uh, what we're going to do in here is we're going to take that uh, inspection that we set up in step three, and now we're going to actually add some we're going to add some meat to it. We're going to tell people what they really need to be looking for when they inspect this part whenever it shows up at the Dallas plant. So uh, we're going into logistics, and when we go into logistics, we'll go to quality management. And in quality management, we're going to go to quality planning. Pull this down so we can see it. We're going to go to quality planning and then uh, inspection planning. Inspection plan because we're actually going to create a, an inspection plan um, and put this in here. So as we come in, you're back to the point where you're going to go use your um, product code that you or your item that you put in there. Uh, and I put in the wrong letters there. And you'll notice that it'll start auto populating and there is the chance for you to take at this point and accidentally take somebody else's uh, product. So make sure that you pick the product you put in there or it's going to mess them up. Okay, so again this is a big database. Everybody's working off of a database and people are putting information in. They're pulling information out and make sure that what you're, what you're touching is the material that uh, really belongs to you. Okay, so um, again, we're, this is going to be DL00. This is the Dallas plant that we're talking about. That's the uh, part that we're going to look at here uh, whenever it comes into the Dallas plant. I'm going to hit enter. Um, and in the enter, we pop up with um, a new screen. Screen says that in the, make sure you're in the create inspection plan header details. Says we need a usage of six. We need four for overall status. Uh, lot size from zero. And then it says that we need to go ahead and compare our entries to the following screen to make sure that we got everything in there. So that looks good to me. Uh, once we have done all of the things that are in here, it says on the very bottom of that first page, uh, we're going to proceed by clicking on operations. Operations is up here on the top right. Operations takes us to a now uh, an inspection plan, a create a operation overview. And in there, under operation 10, we're going to put a control key of QM01, QM01, and once we've put in QM01 description, we're going to put in here, this is a quality inspection that we're going to do. What we're doing right now is we're creating a plan. This is step one, that's step two, three, four, and so on. The very first step we're going to do is the quality inspection. Okay, so we're getting things set up here. Um, and then once we've put in the QM01 quality inspection, it tells us to select the line for number 10. Okay, so we've selected 10. And now we want to create an inspection plan. And so with create inspection plan, depending on what your screen looks like, you can see from mine, I can't see it. So if I go up here and click on more, um, I'm able to see now in there, create inspection plan. Um, that I want to look for the, well, I just got lost for a second there on my page. Just one second, I'm, I'm trying to get back to it. Inspection characteristics is what we're trying to, to look at. So inspection characteristics pops up. It now is gonna let me go in and, and uh, do a little bit of work uh, in those areas. So it says on the create inspection plan characteristics overview screen, which is where we are now, fill in the following for number 10. So for 10, we're going to go ahead and check the box for QL. This is the box for QL. Uh, we're going to enter pack as the master um, inspection characteristic. And if you can't see it, go ahead and just hover over it and it'll It'll pop up. So this is going to be pack. 
So the very first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to look at the packing. All right. As a matter of fact, we're going to make sure that the packing is okay. Does everything look like it's packed okay? Once we put the, um, that information in for step one, it says we can go ahead and press enter. So I pressed enter, brought up a new screen here for us. Uh, and this is the edit characteristic uh, control indicators and it says you know if you didn't get there you, you can go into it a different way. While we're in this characteristics box we're going to make sure that we select the characteristics attribute which is this block that we're going to uh, do sampling procedure that we're going to actually sample some of these things that there's going to be a summary recording where we uh, put the summary of what happens and we also have required characteristics. After we have those in there, I'm clicking continue. It takes me to the next screen. In the next screen, it says verify that we have fixed scope listed, no documentation listed, that scrap share Q score is listed, and then that print is listed. And then once we have done that, we can click on the checkbox. Okay. Um, We've gone through that, finished that piece of it up now. Brings us to the uh, new screen here for catalogs and then catalogs. It tells us here for the CGR, we're going to type in pack, that we're checking packing, and that once again, the people that are going to be doing this is the Dallas plant. And there's the Dallas plant listed in there. Once we've done that, we go ahead and hit enter again. Um, and whenever we finish this piece up, it takes us to the dynamic modification screen where for sampling procedure, it tells us to put in 100% to zero. It tells us to make sure that each is still listed uh, as a unit of measure. And it says if I hit enter, once I have that, it takes me back to this screen. At that point, the, it says, okay, now that, now that you've done that, let's go ahead and do the same thing for the next step. So we're going to check the packing first, but then next we're going to go ahead and check the color. So for the color, we're going to go to the short text. And in short text, we're going to put colors okay. And make sure that color is entered in as a CGR uh, for the other stuff. So what it's asking us to do is once we've got the color OK in this, it's asking us now to go ahead, go back to the second page where whenever you got, whenever you clicked on 10 before, now we're going to do the same thing for step 20 where when we get to this point, we've checked, we're going to go up, we're going to look for inspection characteristics. Where did it go? Okay, so we're on the second page bottom of the second page. You can see that we're at the Create Inspection Plan Characteristics Overview. And what we want to do now, once again, is uh, we need to make sure that we are putting in the stuff for the color. So for the color, it tells us the things that we want to be able to make sure that we get is the uh, short term is color is OK. And when we get to Create Inspection Plan Catalog screen, um, we're going to check the things there that we need to, to check as well. So from here we can click on the inspection plan. I told you it was a bit confusing as we went through this. Again, we're going to click on it. Once we click on it, it says what we're going to end up going with is control indicators. And whenever the control indicators pop up here, we should be able to go in for our pop-ups. OK, 
Okay, once again, we're back on the characteristics overview sheet. I try to do everything to make sure it's exactly the way that they have it uh, as before. This time we're doing 20. We're going to check the QL box, see if it's going to let us go there. We're going to put color in as our master indicator. Make sure that color OK is listed in our sheet. Once we've done those things, we should be able to hit enter. And we click enter. This takes us to the step to where we can make sure that we have everything exactly like we did for step 10 with summary recording, required characteristics, characteristics attribute was one of the things that we needed to check. We needed sampling procedure checked. We need summer recording. That's already there. Required characteristics there. We click continue. The next screen pops up. Next screen we have fixed scope, no documentation, print, and scrap share, Q score um, listed. I can click the check mark here, move us forward, and in the CGR S set. It tells us this time that we need to make sure that we put um, color as the CGR S set and make sure I'm not missing anything else there that it's telling me to do. Uh, once we finish that, let's check to make sure that. And this is the last bit on the catalogs. Okay, we'll hit continue. Sampling procedure that we had before was sampling procedure had us do 100% to zero and it had unit of each, base of one, continue again, brings us back out to the main screen where we now have the quality inspection. At this point we can save it and that takes care of the step. Again, I apologize for things being a little bit uh, uh, wonky there as we, we move forward with it, but hopefully you see how this is uh, being done and then this is make sure that when you've got this here that you jot down here uh, your information okay good luck